So this is Fanny uh, Tafia Willis. Um, she was, uh, her name is Swahali. She has said this, Swahali. Um, but what's interesting is I mentioned that I wondered since um, John Floyd, um, John Clifford Floyd the third, her dad, dated Angela Davis. And I, I said in an earlier video today, is that who her mother is? Because nobody knows who her mother is. Um, well, this is her aunt's, well, I shouldn't say her aunt's, but Angela Davis's sister's name is this. This, this is, uh, Angela Davis's sister, Fania, Fania Davis. So, um, just a little bit about her, because this Angela Davis, this goes back to an overall, like, the big problem here, and the reason why this Fanny Willis is a big deal, because it's all about the same agenda that it's always been to these people, no different than your, uh, uh, Bill Ayers, who was with, with the Weather Underground group, and their, their goal, no matter how long it takes them, is to take the country into communism. They'll do whatever they have to, and most of their offspring will go into law they will um bill Ayers. they had one of their members of the weather underground group she went to jail for quite some time and they raised her son and he is now heading up some big attorney job in california so that's what they and they get in because people help them in so this is why reagan because reagan wanted angela davis out of the school, the college system, back when he was governor in California. So you know how Reagan had made the uh, the comment, well, it was a quote, a famous quote of his, you're always one generation away from communism. He, uh, well, now you know why, where he got that from. It's because Angela Davis, she was pushing, she was all in the colleges, just like your Bernadine Dorn, who's the wife of Bill Ayers and Bill Ayers himself, went on to get in major universities. Bill Ayers at University of Illinois, Chicago. His wife gets a special position, uh, Bernadine Dorn at Northwestern. These two in the college. So Reagan saw it, and, and it didn't. Um, he actually um, tried to get her out of the school system because that's how they're bringing the communism in. So it's been, they've been at this a long time. So uh, with her, Fania Davis, she a, has a PhD, is a leading national voice on restorative justice. She is a longtime social justice activist, civil rights trial attorney, writer, restorative justice practitioner, and educator with a PhD in indigenous knowledge. Uh, Fania writes and speaks internationally on restorative justice, racial justice, and truth processes. Um, she, uh, Fania came of an age in Birmingham, Alabama. It just goes into all that. Um, but do you notice the, the similarities with the name? Um, because yeah, you can't find anything about who, uh, Fanny Willis's mother is. And John Floyd, her dad, who, uh, uh, founded, uh, the Black Panthers political organization in L.A., um, in the 60s, he dated Angela Davis. She was a criminal. Um, here's some pictures of her. So that's her back in the day. That's her. She's like 80 now. This is the two, the sisters. There's um, Angela Davis, and that's Fania Davis. Mm-hmm. Uh, back in the day and then now. Um, and in 1980 and 1984, Angela Davis uh, tried to run as vice president on the Communist Party ticket. This is Angela Davis when she had to face the trial for um, the, she was even, I think even murder, uh, but she was acquitted. Uh, she became the third woman ever placed on the FBI's top 10 most wanted fugitive list, sought for her, sought for her involvement in kidnappings and murders 
growing out of an armed seizure of a Marine County courthouse in California. So when she finally had to face trial, this is one of the many pictures, and all of the college kids loved her because she's all about freedom, but communism is never about freedom. They just hate everyone. This is how much the kids were, yeah. So this is the same thing Bernadine Dorn and Bill Ayers did. That's why they get them in these colleges. That's why these universities are no good um, because there, there's so many of these people through, through these places. And you could see she was acquitted of all three charges. They always are. Just like Bernadine Dorn didn't spend very long in prison for her bombing of buildings all over the country. They, what happened to them? They go on to get these big gigs in universities. Yeah, and this is her speaking, um, you know, about the George Floyd. You know, really have to wonder since John Clifford Floyd, Fannie Willis's dad, you know, is named Floyd. Is there any relation to the George Floyd? I don't know that. I mean, of course, just speculation. Um, no evidence whatsoever of it. Just uh, another one of those strange coincidences. Um, so this is regarding her and how Reagan wanted her out of the school system. Uh, this was when he was governor. The governor was asked how he could support the dismissal, considering he has voted to not institute a political test on university hiring and promotions. The Communist Party is considered not to be a political party per se, Reagan said, but a subversive organization since its members have a prior allegiance to another country. They do. They have a prior, just like Obama did. Uh, the UC Regent spent three hours in a closed-door session before firing her. Governor Ronald Reagan had even gotten involved calling a meeting with the press to advocate Davis's firing. Davis made the front page 51 years ago when the University of California Board of Regents voted to fire her from her professorship at UCLA for belonging to the Communist Party. I'm sorry, so they did fire her, but I think there was an appeal. Um, the dismissal automatically involves the university in the most explosive academic freedom case to arise. Yeah, so I think there was a, a an appeal because of academic freedom. But that's how dangerous this, these people are because like Reagan said, they're not loyal, they hate America. So when you have some, so how much, so where is the line with academic freedom and just hating America? Because it's fine if you wanna hate America, but when you're going and pushing that on the university kids, and you're actively in the process of wanting to overthrow the country and you're using university students to try to do it and sway them, then that goes beyond academic freedom, in my opinion. That goes to a criminal nature. And then this one right next to me, that's Angela Davis. The one at the top, I know it's Fannie Willis, but it's not part of this article. It was like an ad. Um, but. Angela Davis's mother was Sally Davis. Her mother, Sally Davis, was a leading organizer of the Southern Negro Congress. Activism liter literally runs through Angela's veins. Yeah, this is, it's through, like, Bill, Bill Ayers, that's all they're focused on. They're not, it has nothing, they can, it, it's not just about, well, I hate America and I'm going to teach people about it. They actively work um, to do everything they can and get into all of these positions as DAs, yeah, judges, seats in Congress, everywhere, because it's about overthrowing America. This goes beyond academic freedom. These people should not be in the college because it's not about them just freely wanting to teach about hating America. It's them actively working to try to overthrow America. And I think it's pretty safe to say that's what Fannie Willis and her dad had been up to, which is why, of course, they would go after the one president that was about loving America. Because for those that hate America, yeah, Trump would be a big en enemy to those people.